Welcome to AutoCAD for Mac. I'd like to show you a little bit about the CUI, which stands for Custom User Interface. You can use this to edit your tool sets, create custom tool sets, uh, as well as control what displays on your menu bar, uh, which drop down menus you have, and what tools they contain. So, to get to the Customize User Interface window, I can type CUI in my command line, or I can come up here to Tools, go to Customize, and say Interface. Either of those methods will bring up this customized user interface window um, with three tabs. First tab is the commands tab. And this contains all of my commands which are available in uh, AutoCAD for Mac. You can also create custom commands here uh, if you want to do multiple things. Like you could create a command that was clean save, and that clean save could contain both an audit and a save command um, one after another. If I come over to Menus and Tool Sets, this is where I can actually customize um, my tool sets and menus. So let me show you what I mean in Tool Sets. Um, let's create our own tool set. You see here under Tool Sets, you have Drafting, Annotation, and Modeling. Okay, so these are uh, these are the default tool sets that come with AutoCAD for Mac. If I expand one of them, I'll see different tool groups. So if I look at Drafting, I see different tool groups such as Selection, Open Shapes, and Closed Shapes. If I look at that tool group, Open Shapes. I'll see that I have line, polyline, and spline. Okay. Also got an arc dropdown, which has more than one tool in it. And then I have these uh, these other ones: construction line, ray, 3D polyline, and helix. And they're after this little double dash, and that double dash um, is referencing the uh, the panel flyout, which we saw earlier that I can pin open. So let me just show you the the simple steps you can take to create your own tool set. If I just click on this plus, I can say add tool set. Call this one custom. Within this tool set, right now it has one tool group, but that tool group is empty. Um, and I can actually just take commands from the left side of my screen and drop them in there. So I could take uh, some of these 3D commands, okay, and I can just drag and drop them into my tool group 3D array, 3D align, maybe 3D mirror. 3D move, and then I might call this group something like uh, 3D editing. And then I can come to custom and I can say I want to add some more tool groups. Okay. So this is how you add tools to your custom tool sets. If I hit apply, what it's going to do is it's going to create that tool set um, and I'm going to be able to access it from my tool set switching drop down. Um, I didn't put very much in my custom tool set, I just wanted to show you how it works. Um, so as soon as this is done loading, it does take a minute. Um, I'll say OK. Now I can come to my tool set switching and I can say custom. And you'll see there are my tools, the four tools I chose. And these are all on my, uh, my 3D edit palette sorry, my 3D Edit tool group. So that's how you customize your tool sets to show just the tools that you're going to use frequently. Um, and you can do the same with, uh, with your menu bar. You can actually come into the CUI editor and you can add tools, you can add um, different menus to your menu bar. Um, you can get rid of stuff. So let's say I never use parametric constraints at all. I come into my menus and I can say parametric. I can say delete. Now if I hit apply, say OK. As soon as that's done, we'll see up at the top of our screen um, in our menu bar, we have all our menus except parametric will disappear. And there it is, it's gone. So that's how you can customize your user interface in AutoCAD for Mac uh, to display just the tools you want to see and just the tools you want to use to reduce clutter. Thanks for your time. I hope you learned something. Um, please let us know if you have any questions in specific. Thanks.